Hey there Halls of Torment fans and welcome back to another video. It's been a while. We've been busy playing Rotato, but we're we're getting back to it. And the first thing I want to cover is unlocking the cupbearer. I didn't know this guy was even in the game. I was just playing along and he was there, so I thought I'd let you guys know exactly how I found him. So the cupbearer is a friendly NPC available in the camp after the player finishes the quest cupbearer. Upon completing the cupbearer quest, the player may now brew potions back in the camp. In order to find the cupbearer, uh, his name is Rafiq by the way, although I call him Gandalf because why not? To find him, you want to be in the viaducts, and upon spawning, just head to the right side of the map and keep on going until you find him. He's on the bottom or maybe south side of the viaduct. Just walk into the runes and He'll start chatting your, your ear off with a nice little story. Tread carefully, my friend. Those scribblings keep the wraiths at bay. While running from those creatures, I have lost the only thing that could get me out of this precarious situation. My potion flask. If you could retrieve it for me somewhere further northbound, I would be forever in your debt. Once the story is finished, he's going to tell you where to find his potion belt. His potion belt is further right, or to the north, up the viaduct. You're going to want to get there sooner than later, because if you wait too long, the wall on this map will block you off from getting there. So this might be one of the first things you do if you're trying to unlock the cupbearer. Upon getting the potion belt, you're going to head south or left back down the map and return to Rafiq and give him back his potion. He is very thankful. My hopes were not in vain. Thank you, my dear friend. Please take good care of yourself, so we shall meet again in safety above. And that is the quest. It is now done. And once you die or escape, he's going to be back up in your camp, and you'll be able to talk to him. Although you only be able to craft one potion at the beginning, and that is the strong wine, which allows you to reroll the complete selection of traits when leveling up. And that's sort of a good idea of what the potions in this game actually do. They are meant for altering the way you level up and it allows you to control or, you know, slightly influence certain aspects of leveling up so you're more dependably leveling up the way you want to. Because sometimes you're offered stuff you don't want and you just really want something else because you're trying to min-max a build. And this is going to help you do that. And there you go. The cupbearer and potions are now unlocked, and it's time to start farming reagents. And we're going to cover that in another video. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. Good luck out there. Bye for now.